Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create an involute gear with 25 teeth, a basic one. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up Design Sparks Mechanical. Okay, we're going to go File, New, New Design. I'm going to go ahead and change the view to Plan. Going to go ahead and draw our first circle. Actually, I need to work in millimeters, so to do that, we're going to go to File. We're going to go down here to Design Spark Options. We're going to navigate over to Units. We're going to change the type from Imperial to Metric, and go ahead and click OK. All right, so I know that the first measurement is going to be 300. Okay. All right, now we're going to put some middle measurements in there. Middle one here will be 75. 75. Then the one in the center will be 45, so we'll do another circle. 45. And then we need to create a 15 millimeter uh, notch. So in order to do that, we're going to go I'm going to put a line in here. I'm going to zoom in first, control plus. I'm going to go ahead and click that, drag up. We'll go ahead and make that 10. And then we'll go select the click off. Okay, now we're going to use our offset tool. And we're going to offset this over to 7.5. And offset that over to 7.5. We're going to go ahead and use our create corner. Create corner with that. Oops. I want to do that. Okay. Go ahead and select. We'll get that middle piece right there. Hit delete. Now we're going to go ahead and get their line tool drag over. Okay, so that's going to be the base of our part right there. That might be a little bit too high, so I'm going to go ahead. There are no measurements. I'm just kind of winging it here. So we'll go ahead and do this offset. And we'll come down. We'll come down three. Three millimeters. That should be good. So ten, nine, eight. So seven. Seven tall. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get our trim away tool. Trim away this stuff we don't need. We'll go ahead and control minus to zoom out. We're going to put some teeth on here. All right, so we want to go ahead and put a tooth. right up here. So we'll go control plus. We're going to go pan over. We're going to put a reference line in there. Okay, and then we're going to go we want to rotate this, so move. We want to move it about here. So we want to rotate it go four degrees okay so we'll go control plus to zoom in we're going to use our pan tool to pan down we're going to get our offset line we'll come across 
Let's go eight. We'll come across here to eight. Then we'll go ahead and cap this off here. All right, now we're gonna use this as a mirror line. So set as mirror. We're gonna grab our three point arc, go from there to there. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be our first tooth. So now we'll go ahead and trim away. Don't need any of that. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Okay. Now we want to put a little bit of a radius on here, so control plus to zoom in. We're going to use our pan tool to pan down. We're going to create our great rounded corners. Go from there to there. We'll go 3.33. 3.33. Okay, there's our basic tooth. Now I'm going to go control minus. Control plus to zoom in. Let's go to pan. Let's get rid of these lines down here. So we'll go ahead and we don't need any of these. So we'll hit delete. Delete. Delete, control minus. Now we're going to go ahead and move. We're going to drag a mark here around this, the gear. We're going to click there, move to the center. Then we're going to go create pattern. We're going to revolve around. Okay, we want the count to be 25, so we'll go enter. Then we're going to go select to click off. Control minus to zoom out. So here's our basic gear. So now we want to go ahead and start extruding stuff. So we'll go ahead and we want to extrude this, the main cog out. We want it to be 50. So we're going to go extrude on both sides. So click here, pull from both sides. So we're going to go 25. Okay, now we need to get our select our teeth. Don't need this stuff. All right, we're going to go pull. We're going to pull from both sides. We're going to go 25. All right, so now this middle one here needs to be 20 on the front and 20 on the back. So it's going to be 50 plus 20 plus 20. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we're going to go ahead and pull that from both sides. And we're going to go 90. Click select. I think that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and spin to take a look at it. All right, there's our involute gear with 25 teeth. The only thing I'm going to do different to this is control plus to zoom in. I'm going to pull, I'm going to add a fillet right here so there's not a weak spot. And we'll add a fillet of uh, 4.1. And we're going to go ahead and spin this to the back, pull, 4.1. Then we'll go to top view. The only other thing this involute gear might be able to use is a little bit of chamfering. So we'll put a chamfer on these. We'll go ahead and turn that. Go pull. We're going to click right there and change over here to chamfer. And we're going to put a three, three millimeter chamfer in there. We'll go ahead and spin this around to the back. 
go pool, click on the line, change over here to chamfer, type three. Okay, that's gonna be your involute gear with 25 teeth. Um, that's gonna end the tutorial. I thank you for watching, and as usual, if you found anything interesting from this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.